What's up, it's your buddy Mark. Sorry about the glare, but um, ain't no one here to see this ugly face. Um, so um, yesterday I seen it too. A new Musa song just came out, and I, I wanted to react to it, but I had already done five videos that day, and I had already done um, an Adam Calhoun and Musa collaboration that um, I just stumbled upon. Because I didn't, I didn't know they had any songs together. So I, I love collaborations, and I'm a huge Adam Calhoun fan. I just discovered Musis. I liked him a lot. This will be like um, the fifth, sixth song reacting to him. So um, anyway, get, I like um, liking him more and more. I think the last song I listened, I not, I'm not counting the one of Adam. Um, the one that was a remix, like a kill shot remix, kinda. I forget what it was called, but it looked like it. Anyway, it, that was real recent too. And I think that was um, the one I liked the most so far. Um, and then two of the ones I listened to were diss tracks against. One was a diss track against Nick Cannon, one was Lord Jamar, DJ Vlad, and Nick Cannon. I hate all three of those dudes, so of course I enjoyed listening to that. But it wasn't like, uh, I didn't think they were like banger songs, but that last one I listened to, I forget what it was called. It was, it looked, it, the, the, not video, but the picture looked like the kill shot. Um, and it was something like that remix and that was ill. He started, he rapped fast. Like I didn't even know he could rap that fast. So anyway, this one's called music. And I, oh, and I got like, um, uh, what's it called? The request to do this too. But I was gonna do it anyway. But I mean, so it even makes it better. So let's get to it. First time I ever wrote, I wanted to kill myself. And, uh, I, I gotta throw in a pause right there. Damn, he, he started off heavy. Um, it's a little ironic. I don't know how old the song I reacted to yesterday was with him and Adam, but he was talking about the same shit in that one. Um, I've been there. Um, I never really thought about killing myself, but there was times where I would go to sleep and it's like, I don't want to wake up. And I started sleeping a lot and, um, cause I was just depressed, you know, I, I talked about in other videos. I went to detox, lost my girlfriend. Then my mom got sick, slowly watched her go. And then, uh, and then I lost my young cousin to cancer. She was such a sweetheart and then lost, thankfully, none of my close, close friends, but I lost some friends to overdoses, like three different friends, um, all like over, this was all over like a three, four year period of time. So I was down, boy. I was, phew. That's right, and I felt better. So the next time I felt like yeah. that, I wrote, and, and, and I wrote again and again and again and, 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 and eventually I showed people, you know, close friends And they were like, what are you doing with this shit? This shit is sick as fuck And I was like, bro, I'm sick as fuck like, That's <laughs> what I'm doing with it Like, why would I want to show somebody that shit? I write sometimes too I call it I, I, like, I, I can't rap I don't got a good voice for it But it's like a journal that rhymes It's like, a, I don't know It's like I, I tell my stories I'm sorry, this call is driving me crazy Doing this Looking, you like looking in the mirror as you're making a video. It can be, you can get self-conscious. Oh, there's a song I was talking about. Rap Jesus remix. Um, yo, that was sick. And um, that was only like two or three days ago. So I'm excited. He hasn't started rapping yet. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the song. I ain't here to fuck around, I don't run around with these clowns in the underground I'ma put it down, you are now about to witness the sickness I hear from you until now I'm Talking about you gonna make a better record than a record that I'm making you mistaken Yo, 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 he's going rap god speed Slow, a shack would say slow it down <laughs> well, That's rewind, that, cause I put the pause and as soon as, once I came back he just started spitting Hold up, hold up I wanna show somebody that shit I ain't here to fuck around, I don't run around with these clowns in the underground I'ma put it down, you are now about to witness the sickness I hear from you until now Talking about you gonna make a better record than a record that I'm making you mistaken 
I don't think you understand this level of the shit. And I'm on levels you ain't never making elevate, never take a day for granted. Or plan it, about the panic. My love for rap so romantic. It hurts my first ass volcanic. God itself, but not satanic. In fact, I am fucking at it with these baggage ass rappers who piss the crock. God let me at them. <laughs> yeah. Um, people have been like, Eminem, you know, ever since Eminem went through all that shit for saying the F word, not talking about fuck, talking about, you know, saying faggot, but I use that word all the time, never meant it to any offense to gay people at all, I got um, some friends that are gay, not that that, that that matters, but it was just like, it meant like asshole to me, or pussy, or, you know what I mean, I never meant it in like the way that's meant to be used, but I feel like now, rappers are scared to use it, and... Um, I'm happy he did. <laughs> well, not happy he did, but it's, you know, it shouldn't be left out. last time the voices in his head i got like the same thing i don't call it voices in my head it's my mind won't stop one minute i'll be thinking about a girl from 15 years ago next minute i'll be worrying about a doctor's appointment i gotta go to in a month and then my mind just does not shut up it's just always going like um i just i i, I concentration so bad all the tv on and be watching a YouTube video at the same time, and my mind will still be going. It's like, I need, oh man, it, my concentration is horrible. That's why I'm on um, medication, but what they give me is a joke. I, they, I got two one milligrams a day of Clodipins. I need like eight a day, which isn't that, some people probably think eight, you fucking crazy. The legal limit is six milligrams a day. And I know, one person that gets that. I know a lot of people that get um, at least four milligrams a day. So I'm not saying any, I'm not saying like a crazy, crazy number. Um, and I would get more, but because I was an addict to Percocets and um, Oxycontin, so they only would give me two because they kind of abuse it. Which I, I guess, because I take more than prescribed, you can say I abuse it, but. I take what I need to fucking feel better and sleep at night. Yeah, I like this a lot because um, I like rock and roll a lot too. And I wasn't a big fan of the, like, Limp Bizkit and... Lincoln Park, they had some good songs. Lincoln Biscuit, I like the songs he did with real rappers. Like the remix with um, DMX and um, Met the Man, Red Man. But, um, all right, so, but like, what he's doing is he's like, kind of, he's rapping, but then he's kind of like shouting like a, like a rock and roll artist would do. So actually, he's kind of rapping like DMX, because DMX, when he listens to DMX, you want to go slap your mom. <laughs> he gets you so amped up and, um, but he was 100% rapper. He wasn't rap rock. And yeah, I like this. I, I really do. Started off so nice at first. <laughs> Pick me up when I write a verse. But some of the things went very wrong. Cause without you, I can't carry on. Mm. I don't believe you. How do I need you? When all you do is destroy me. Promises that you'll employ me. If the them my refrigerator door, you're loyal to you. Screw you and the voodoo. Hex put on me. Hex is always leave all because of you. All you ever do is ruin everything. Who would ever think it would come to this? Man, I'm done with this toxinist, but I'm so in love with this. Wolf kid, and I ain't never gonna quit. Sick of feeling sick. This ain't healing shit. Guess to deal with it like everybody else. Saying fine, I just get I wonder if he's talking about a girl or the music industry. I'm trying to figure it out. Um. Or not the music industry, but like just rapping out, trying to figure it out. I'll wait, I'll wait, there ain't one, cause I change them on every song that I make, 
that's why I rap so damn irate and pray for the day them eyes dilate. So fuck y'all, I'm a dilate. So suicide, get yourself, I ain't scared of you no more. You ain't gonna bury me, oh no, you can't put fear in me no more. Yo, let's go to the max of a track, I'm gonna stab you today. That's good, he's saying. Basically, suicide, you, you don't scare me no more. It's just, I ain't thinking about you no more. You out of here. Same with me. I, no, I ain't thinking about that shit no more. Hell no. So true, when your sickness is your sedative, so like, because basically the pills they put you on when you have um, anxiety problems and voices in your head are basically sedatives. Um, it depends if you get antidepressants, if you're really depressed, like he was talking about. Uh, going back to that song I heard yesterday of him and Adam, Adam was talking about panic attacks more than clodopins, where he's talking about depression, where they give you like Prozac. That shit is real it's a sedative like i i tried it and it took it changed me i said this yesterday i didn't feel myself but i'd be like yep okay sure like all of a sudden the talkative me was gone it's like i wouldn't even like say sentences just words and i was like i, I just i lost my personality and it wasn't worth it um you know it just it really wasn't worth it you gotta be you gotta be you, you know? You can't walk around drugged up like that. <laughs> um, even the, I know it sounds fucking weird to say for me, someone that blazes weed and takes more pills than you're supposed to, but you know, it, it took away my personality, you know? I blaze, I still got the same personality that I did before. The Glotopin just calmed me down. They get my mind to stop overthinking everything and um, relax and actually like pay attention to a movie or TV show. Anyway, the song's almost over. I like, I really like this. I can't wait to listen to it. I like the hook a lot. Yeah, that was, not to, no pun intended. That was sick. Um, I liked it a lot. I love it when I discover an artist and um, like his songs like keep getting better. Like um, the, I, I just saw it, the Jesus something, the Rap Jesus remix. And now this, the, uh, like the two, they're both brand new. And I think they're better than the songs I, I originally heard from him. Like maybe only a couple of weeks ago, I just recently started reacting to him. But um, those are my two favorite. This might be my favorite one, and this is the most recent. So um, I love it when that happens. Anyway, I didn't mean for this video to get this long. Like I like I said, I got that talk. I talk. I can't help it. That's part of the reason why I do this. Um, anyway, yo, I'm happy. Uh, yo, um, ah, fuck. I'm sorry. I forget your name, bro. We've been talking a lot. Thank you for introducing me to him, because I've really been, I've really enjoyed these last two songs. Three, if you count the one with Adam Calhoun, like, he, he, I like him a lot. And um, even though we have different political views, I don't give a fuck about that. I care about the music and if my ears like it. <laughs> Alright, peace.